Hi guys, Colin here from Precision Optics Eyewear. Just a quick video about an order that I've just had come through from a new client. And it's a question that they've asked me what I'm getting asked quite a bit lately and it's really, really important. And the question is, are photochromic lenses that change in the sun, light and dark, are they worth having? And the really, there's one answer which is it depends upon you. There's not one size fits all with this type of lens and if you haven't tried them before or you have tried them before, let me know in the comments below how you got on with them because some people love them and some people have tried them and not got on well with them. It doesn't mean it's a bad product and equally it doesn't mean it's a fantastic product for everybody. It is a very good product and the transitions, photochromic or any other type of sun reactive lens is a great thing to have. You've got to think about is it going to be right for your particular lifestyle? So the reason why I say that is some people like the idea of having one pair of glasses that you can put on and you go wearing for the whole day and the lights are going to change uh, whether it's going to be light or dark depending on the environment that you're in. That's fantastic. Some people don't like that. Some people don't like the in-between phase that, when it's kind of like an in-between light and in-between dark, that middle section. Some people like to have a clear pair that they know is going to stay clear and then have a designated pair of permanent dark sunglasses whether they're tinted or polarized now some people like that whole setup and there's no one size fits all i would say personally if you can try a pair of, of photochromic lenses then give them a go but just think about your environment and your lifestyle uh, and see if it's going to suit you some people don't like the idea of being outside in the garden for example coming in quickly when they're dark and then the time they've lightened up again you're back outside and some people can't get on with that and that's absolutely fine they're not for everybody as i say but i would definitely say um you know there's a much 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 bigger ratio of people that love them and get on well with them than don't there's obviously different types of photochromic lenses as well that are available there's not just one out there on the market there's different brands and also there's more advanced versions of photochromic lenses too ones that go darker in the car and work much quicker some people love them, but some people can't get on with them and they like the standard version. So yet again, it's not always one size fits all and it doesn't mean the more advanced types of photochromic lenses are necessarily better. I've had lots of people before that have tried differences and they say that they prefer one over the other. And it doesn't mean one's better, it just means it has different qualities and different properties. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you've had them before or if you've got any questions about photochromic lenses. It'd be interesting to see what you uh, what you think about them. Let me know below. If you found the video useful, give it a thumbs up for me, please, so I know. And if you're watching me on YouTube, consider subscribing to the channel. That way you stay up to date with any more information about lenses and frames. Thanks a lot. Bye.